Hi everyone, Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center and we're here in Massachusetts. And uh, I want to look at the month of August um, and um, what's in store for us in the month of August. What's the general energy? I do have my August uh, numerology in Kabbalah already. I just actually have to do it. I mean, I, I have all the all the research done. Um, I need to uh, put it on film, as it were, or uh, put it on video. Film. I'm showing my age, aren't I? Um, uh, and I'll see if I can get that done today. We have a, a hot day. It's going to be a bunch of hot days. See how much I can get done in the heat. I'm not a good hot weather person, as you probably all know already. That's why I do my blurb so early in the morning. Okay. So what's going on for August? July was a very challenging, emotional month. We're still in July. Today is July um, 29th, I believe. Yep. Um, so we have another two days for July. And we are having a new moon uh, on 31st or on the 1st, depending on where you live. The 31st, the new moon is in the Americas, and then the 1st, it's everywhere else. It's uh, happening like 11, 12 p.m. on the east coast of the U.S. So. And it's at 9 degrees of Leo. We'll, um, we'll do a reading for the new moon as well. So now this is just what we can expect in August. General energy in August. And I will do a reading for Trump in August. I thought I had done one for Trump in um, July, but the reading for the United States in July ended up talking all about Trump. I think, so I didn't do a specific one for him. Okay, let's see what's up. What's up for us. Okay. Okay, we have the Four of Wands. Um, this is celebration. This is actually a wedding. This um, it usually depicts a wedding. So uh, there, there could be a marriage of some sort. Now, what that marriage is about, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see as we go. Um, but this is actually a time for celebration. The sun for uh, most of the month is in Leo, and um, Leo no, li likes nothing more than a party, especially when people are uh, wonderfully dressed and quaffed, as these people are in this in this card. Lovely card. It's like Joffrey's wedding. Let's hope it's not like Joffrey's wedding, right? Uh, my Game of Thrones people out there. Let's see what's crossing it. Okay, so we have the card of healing, the card of temperance. And so, um, eat, drink, and be merry. Um, <laughs> we have to be careful with that. And so, uh, while we have opportunities to have fun, we have opportunities to celebrate, um, we have to remember to keep um, balanced through that. Balanced through that. Let's see what's at the, at the root of it. Okay, and so we have some some grieving that we're dealing with, some grief, um, deep emotional grief. Interesting, right? That we have the wedding and then we have the grief card uh, at the root of, of all of it. This card says to us that we need to take the time to grieve what is lost, but not to forget what we, what we still have. And this this gentleman needs to turn around and pick up those cups and uh, take a walk over that bridge and uh, continue his life, right? This is sort of the river of sorrows. And so what I'm getting from this is that there are things that we might be upset about, things didn't go the way we had hoped they would go. We feel emotionally bereft. Um, and these cards say, uh, do the do the um, the mourning and the grieving that you need to do, but you need to continue. You need to move on. 
Um, okay, let's see what's in the past. We have the Six of Pentacles. This is about balancing the scales. There was some sort of balance of the scales here. This is generally about somebody who's in a little better position, sharing um, the resources, sharing the gifts. This benevolent guy is giving these people the money. Let's see what's in the sky. We have the Prince of Pentacles. Um, I believe this was the card that was in the sky for July, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And so this card is telling us to be um, cautious around resources, to plant seeds, to plant uh, and plan for times of scarcity. And perhaps that's why we have this, these two cards um, here. Um, the, the idea that everything is rosy uh, may not be true. Okay. Let's see what's in the immediate future. So when I do the immediate future for a month reading, this is pretty much the, the month. This is the energy of the month. So this is how we sort of start the month. And this is the energy through the month. Okay, we have the Prince of Swords. And um, this is about taking an action. Um, but there's a, there's a caveat to this action. It must be well thought out. Sometimes this um, card is not all that, uh, the action is not all, uh, it, sorry, is not that well thought out. Um, there's less of that energy in this card than other cards uh, for this. Um, but there's a righteousness to, the, to this to this card, righteous action, heart-centered action. And so if you need to take an action this month, uh, you need to really think about it. You need to th you need to think of the consequences of your actions. Um, but if it's something that you feel truly righteous about, then it is something that you need to do. Okay, let's see uh, how this is seen from the outside. Okay, we have an ending. We have an ending. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. Okay. Uh, domestic situation. Us. Okay, we have the Princess of Swords. All right, so a lot of swords here. A lot of um, hmm. Domestic situation. The Princess of Swords. We need to be circumspect about what is being said, who is saying it, watching your words. Um, it's almost as if you're being watched. <laughs> so being the domestic situation, what I want to say is that you don't want to take out your anxiety, your angst, your righteous indignation, of which I'm sure there's plenty and plenty of reason for. Don't take it out on your family. Don't take it out on the people closest to you. Be very careful about keep the righteous indignation and anger in the right place. That's what I want to say about this card. Hopes and fears. Here we have the emperor here. Um, I'm not going to make this about um, the Trumpster, but I am going to say that there are a lot of places in the world that are in upheaval right now. And the upheaval is being caused by the people pushing against those in power. And uh, 
And there are some people who want to keep those people in power. They want to keep the status quo. And there are those that want to overthrow it. And that's our hopes and fears, both. It depends on what side of the, like, what side of the coin you're on or what side of the river you're on. What side of the issue you're on. Outcome. Okay, we have the three of pentacles. The three of pentacles is about hard work. It's about being good at what you do. It's about being, it's about uh, being a, um, more of a master. And so this card suggests that um, work, do what you're best at, work diligently, and you will succeed. This is a card of success. Uh, the Three of Pentacles is also a stable financial card, so that's nice. Um, because there was some, you know, perhaps issues about money here. Um, so if you apply yourself, um, then there should be... Um, a stable financial future, at least for August, right? Okay, let's see if we can pull a major arcana. We have the Three of Cups, another celebration card, the Princess of Cups, and the Empress. Okay. And so the Empress card is of your values, what's important to you. It's about using your imagination, your creative visualization, creating the world that you want. So these two cards suggest to me that uh, if you put the energy in and you apply yourself, then you will harvest something. Let's see if there's anything underneath. Let's see what's underneath this, this reading. Okay, so anxiety. So a lot of people are anxious. So, it's interesting because there's a lot of anxiety here underneath it all. And I can feel it, you can feel it. Um, people are afraid because it seems like everything that they've ever known is, is you know, at least in the, in the outside, the political spectrum, right? The, the governmental, we're in places we've never been before. And so many different countries and so many different, I mean, there's upheaval in Russia, there's upheaval in, Ch in uh, Hong Kong, there's upheaval in the United Kingdom, there's upheaval in the United States. Um, I don't think you could, there's upheaval in Central America, there's upheaval in South America. The whole, like everything is like in this huge upheaval and um, people are afraid and peop people are um People are scared, but we do have to take action, and we do need to take action that's well thought out, well placed, um, with an eye um, to the heavens, right? So this is this guy is looking up at the heavens, and so it's really about following both your heart, because um, the princes all sit in the in the heart chakra and Tipperet on the tree of life, but also to be inspired by a higher ideal, connecting yourself to something larger than you. Um, and then, of course, not taking the fight home. You know, don't, don't hurt the people you love the most because you don't like the way the world is. <laughs> if you want the world to be a better place, you have to love one another. You have to, you have to foster your relationships like the Empress would. You have to know your own value and the value of the people in your life. You have to know what um, what your strengths are, what your resources are, what are your talents and abilities, what are you going to do, and how are you going to face the world and work the world with an eye to the future and not just the moment or not just the past, right? We don't want to live in the past. We want to live in the moment, and yet we have to know that each each action we take in this moment has a consequence. So think about what you're doing. Think about what you're saying. You know, this is a doing card, but it's also 
uh, it's mental, it's, it's our ability to, to, to communicate. What are you saying? What, what words are you using? What words are you using? Okay. So, um, underlying anxiety, which is, which is reasonable, and yet these cards are requiring us to do our due diligence, think before we act, and when we do act, to have a have a um, a an eye to spirit. It's about caution. It's about discernment. And of course, the other half, you know, for the majority of the time, the sun is in Cancer. In um, I mean, Cancer. The sun is in Leo. In um, in August, but then it moves into to Virgo, right? So there's that discernment part towards the end of August. All right, so how this looks from the outside, this card here. What's interesting is, what is the outside? <laughs> if we're doing a, just a general reading for the energy of August, what is outside of August? Um, who is looking at us? We're looking at ourselves. This is the end of something. The end of an old way of being. It's an end of an old way of doing things. And uh, we have to decide what is most important for us as we move forward um, to create this um, this new world, so to speak. Um, the mighty will fall, folks. Don't worry about that. That will happen. How it will happen is largely depends on... Um, where we want to put our energy. If we want to put our energy uh, focused on all the negativity, um, which is what creates a lot of this, um, is that the best utilization of our uh, of our energy? It's important to be um, informed, but um, we always have to be aware of where the information comes from. Because everybody has a point of view, and a lot of times we tend to get exposed to those who have the same viewpoints as us, which doesn't necessarily help with us sort of coming together and, and, and working things out. Because, uh, and part of that is the computer culture, part of that is the fact that uh, things that we see things that are presented to us are usually things that we agree with. And so there has to be a place where uh, people who don't agree on things need to come together and, um, and, and dance and interact and have fun. And yet not so much fun that you're trying to escape. Okay. That's what I want to say for August. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Like and subscribe. I am going to do one for Trump. So I'll be back with that. Have a great day. Bye.